Oh my mm -hmm. God! Uh, to be a free man, it's uh, to be honest with you, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have my beautiful wife next to me. Mm -hmm. I'm healthy. I'm sober. Back at work with my best friends on the number one show on MTV, and uh, just living the dream. What has the last week been like since you got out of prison? Well, the last eight months, I've been dreaming of what my first days would be like. Mm -hmm. You know, and first and foremost, I wanted to spend some time with my beautiful wife. I wanted to have a naked pizza party. <laughs> did that happen? Uh, yes. That was the first night, yeah, what we did. That yeah. happened. And then I slowly wanted to just get back to work. But first start with the basics, mm -hmm. okay? The basics, which is fitness, family, fun, and don't forget the finances because you don't want to end up back in prison. Mike, the situation, Sorrentino's first interview since leaving prison and only telling E.T. what the experience was like. The real situation in prison is not like the movies. I'll have to tell you that, <laughs> okay? But what I did, I went to sleep every night at uh, 10 p.m. I woke up every morning at 7 a.m. and did fasted cardio for about uh, an hour. Mm -hmm. um, I was practicing intermittent fasting while I was in prison. I had to continually challenge myself whether it was in the gym or and or diet, as well as reading books and trying to progress, you know, spiritually as well. Because if you uh, do not um, keep yourself busy in there, idle hands are for the devil. The Jersey Shore star served an eight-month sentence in New York after pleading guilty to tax evasion. Did yes. you ever feel like you were hanging by a thread? No, no, I didn't feel like I was hanging for a thread. I just felt that everything in my life had prepared me for this journey. And although very uncomfortable, I lived one day at a time. Every single day I, you know, tried to be my best self mm -hmm. or better than the day before. Yeah. And then move forward and that was it. And I'll be honest with you, I was very successful. And by no means was it a comfortable situation. Being one day away from your loved ones is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. um, but it's manageable. You can survive it. How would you rate the food, one to 10? It is probably like the worst school lunch you've ever had. Mm. Um, <laughs> and if you're trying to lose weight and get healthy, it could be almost impossible. What did you miss the most? The thing that I missed the most was probably my beautiful wife next to me. Mm. You sort of take your freedom, I would say, for granted sometimes. Mm -hmm. And once it is sort of taken away from you, you're taking advantage of once you get out. Not necessarily every minute, but every second, mm -hmm. every meal. Um, every conversation uh, I cherish with my beautiful wife, with my friends. Um, I love my job, so I feel like I'm on such an awesome road and we're very excited to uh, see what the future has to uh, offer. You mentioned you're grateful for every meal. I know you yes. love food, yes. you love yes. to yes. eat. Yeah. What was your last meal before you went to prison the last and your meal? first meal out? The last meal was probably, I probably was ordering some sort of fast food delivery because yeah. <laughs> um, I was, you know, ordering everything. You know, when you realize that your freedom is being taken away from you, you're like, you know what, I'm not going to get good food in prison, so I'm going to order McDonald's, I'm going to order Wendy's, I'm going Chick-fil-A, <laughs> we're turning up and living our best life. And I did that, and I, you know, I gained a couple pounds, but I had the time once I was in prison to concentrate um, on um, being my best self and, you know, losing the weight. Are you a changed man? Do you um, feel like you're a changed man? I definitely feel like I'm a changed man. You know, um, it really starts with my recovery though, I'll be honest with you. I'm four years clean and sober in a couple months and um, I just practice, you know, living one day at a time, being my best self and, um, you know, making sure that I'm, you know, the best man I could be for my beautiful wife you know, the best son to my mother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, best friend to my friends out there and do the best job I can at work and, mm -hmm. and then after that, let go and let God handle it. Have you seen the cast since you were released? Yeah, yeah. We, we, mm -hmm. I saw the cast, what was it, a day after? Yeah, I think the day after. It was yeah. a day after. We went straight to work.